Joe, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is what? This is a base village on a flat world that you griefed and coated with lava. Fucking shit, calm down, Donald. Welcome, gentlemen, to your first obstacle, the tower in the sky. Did you play test this map? Why the hell would I do that? What the oh, fuck on, do you Joe, mean? Are you serious? I'm dying on the inside. This has become a collage of screaming and bitching. After Donald beats the tower, we're taking a break. All right, you guys ready to jump back in? I'm ready on my end. Cool. You good on your end, Donald? Better than that, Barry. I'm satisfied and energized like you wouldn't believe. Uh-huh. So you're good? I'm golden. Platinum, even. All right. Joe, go ahead and tell us about the next challenge while Donald boots up your map. Okay. Gentlemen, as you recall, you have successfully defeated the Tower Terror. With no one to operate his warship, the protagonist watches as the tower crashes to the ground. That's definitely how I remember it happening. So what comes next, Joe? Now, feeling empowered by your recent victory, you venture forward towards the next destination. I'll explain more once we arrive. Joe, I can't help but notice the signs recommending us to turn peaceful mode on. You do know that you could have just used a game rule command to turn off mob spawning, right? Is that right? Yes, Joe. Didn't you say you were messing around with command blocks when developing this map? Yeah, why? I mean, it's just the idea that you didn't know about the game rule commands and yet somehow managed to work. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Before you continue, I want to tell you now that I've planted three secret bonus areas that provide you with neat weapons and upgrades. Interesting. Are you saying there's one of those areas somewhere here? Because it's the first one and I want to be nice, I'll tell you it's either to the left or the right. You're not just saying that because you forgot, right? No, fuck not. I'm saying it's your decision, left or right. Well, he chose right. Looks like he found something. Jesus, Barry, look at all this fucking lava. Joe, was all this really necessary? It's supposed to build atmosphere. Spamming lava across the flatlands is your idea of building atmosphere? Donald, what did we talk about? Take a scoop before talking poop. That's right. Now cool off with some ice cream. Joe, is it necessary for us to read all this? Those are just explaining the bonus rooms. Just open up the crate and pick out what you want. Holy shit, what is all this? You got your food, armor, weapons with plenty of enchantment potions. And the beds? If things get too hard, you can place them down as special spawn points. Wow, that's a bit generous, don't you think? Nah, I think it's fair for what's to come. What the hell could you have in store for me to justify 512 bottles of enchantments? Oh, you'll see. Rather ominous, but fuck it, I'll take full advantage of this. All right, let's enchant some weapons. What are you going to enchant? To start, I'm going to upgrade my netherite sword. Any specific upgrades you're looking for? Not really, just whatever catches my eye. Come to think of it, Joe, why would you give the player a netherite sword at the beginning of the game? I would expect to see that type of weapon near the end, or at least the midpoint. The netherite sword is the protagonist's trusty weapon. One that has been with him for decades. Okay, that's nice, Joe, but aside from lore, why did you choose this as the starting sword? Because you're going to be fighting a good chunk of monsters, and I wanted to make sure you had something with high durability. Fair enough, I suppose. Although it kind of puts the bonus room weapons to shame, to be honest. With the exception of the bow and arrows, those will be pretty useful. True. All right, Joe, go ahead and explain this next level. Using the power of magic, the protagonist soars through the sky until he finds his next destination. Heaven's Labyrinth. What's the story behind this labyrinth? The labyrinth is shrouded by a massive storm cloud. To access the maze, the protagonist has to mutter an ancient phrase in magician's tongue. And why is magician's it that we're tongue? entering this maze? Heaven's Labyrinth can act as a shortcut. The protagonist intends on using it to guide him towards his destination. So basically a magical maze in the sky that will show me the way. Correct. Creative. I have to give it points for being the first area I've seen without any lava. Joe, you're moving up. Thanks, I guess. Damn it, where's the fucking exit? Having some trouble, Donald? What do you think? I feel like I've been here for fucking ever. Probably a good time to mention the exit is blocked by an iron door. Excuse me? Yeah, you gotta find the lever first, then the exit. How about I use the lever already gifted to me by your incompetency? That would certainly spare me from wasting another moment of my existence roaming through your fucking maze. I would really prefer if you don't. Yeah, Donald, don't resort to cheating. You don't feel my pain, Barry. Everything looks the fucking same. Yeah, it's a fucking maze dipshit. What did you expect? Oh my god, I did it. I fucking did it, Joe. This maze ain't fucking shit. What'd you clock him at, Obama? 12 minutes, 15 seconds. Great, now go find the exit, Donnie. Fuck you. There. Eat your heart out, you bundle of bones. Finally. Thank goodness I started to doze a bit. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? So with the labyrinth out of the way, the protagonist finds himself headed towards the right direction. However, to his surprise, he finds himself faced with another obstacle. Another one of the antagonist's generals. Oh, well, he will once Donald gets out of bed. I'm not playing that fucking maze again. Yeah, he might fall like he did last time. Barry, I don't need this right now. Look at this. The Maze Master. Another aged pile of dust trying to piss me off. And look at that. I blinked and he disappears. Like a fucking magician, eh, Joe? You mad, Donald? A little ruffled, yes. Eat some more ice cream. Obama, I know you're being mindful of my blood pressure, and I appreciate it. But quit weaponizing my ice cream.
Let a guy vent. All right, now that we're done with the maze, what comes next? The labyrinth has brought us to the depths of a dark cavern. You must tread carefully if you hope to escape with your life. Yeah, sure. I bet it won't even be that bad. Don't be so quick to judge, Donald. Don't be so quick to assume. You forget that this is supposedly a cave that Joe made on a flat world. How vast can it really be? Just you wait, Donald. Hmm. Better watch your step. Uh Uh-huh. Joe, are you serious with this cave right now? You bet. The lava really cranks the danger up. Gets the juices flowing. Yep. The juices, Barry. I'm sorry, but this is quite literally a -a walkathon. I was hoping for something more interesting. It'll get more intense, Barack. Donald's about to make it to the second half. Hmm, why isn't this working? Probably a glitch. Yeah. Don't worry about the chest. Worry about what's ahead. Oh, I'm worried, Joe. Is it going to bore me to death? No, it's going to be wild, I promise. I won't hold my breath. What the fuck do I even say? This whole level has just been me walking down a linear path. This section has platforming. Oh, these little dick jumps that a fucking four-year-old can do with their eyes closed? What a fucking wild ride, eh, Barry? I ain't going to lie, Joe. This one's a miss for me. What's the issue with it? Are you serious, Joe? Yeah, what's the problem? When I think about a cave, I think of an area that has a combination of wide open and claustrophobic pathways. Dark with long, rocky tunnels full of unique ores and anything that isn't this. Well, how about this boss? Does the third general make it any cooler? He multiplies every time you hit him. No, Joe, this harmless block of shit doesn't add anything to this dirt mound you call a cave. If anything, it breaks the pace. Finally, what's the next level? One of my personal favorites, and one that I think you might like, Donald. Oh? Where are we now? The House of Glowing Gold. This massive mansion was constructed by an individual who is a close ally to the main antagonist. Who, just to make sure, is not a dragon? Donald. Correct. Okay. The ally was rewarded greatly for their services to the antagonist, which is how they acquired this golden manner of death. Uh, Dungeon Master Joe, quick question. Yeah. What's this? The ally has his mansion on lockdown, so you gotta break down the doors. Joe, you must certainly realize the flaw with that idea. No, I don't. If Donald mines the golden blocks, he can use them to cheat the platforming sections. Very good idea, Barry. I'll keep that in mind. Don't give him ideas. He would have figured that out immediately. Well, I'll give you this, Joe. The level is more interesting than the last level. Although I feel like your story settings are a little all over the place. How so? I went from a destroyed town to a lava tower. Then from there to a sky maze, which took me to a cave, which now brings me to a giant golden house. Yeah, I feel like the transitions from each place could have been handled better. I see what you mean. This was the simplest idea I had for a map that I wanted to try. I wasn't too sure about how to handle level transitions. I do feel like that will help me for my next map. Your next map? Yeah, I got some ideas. Barry can play those. We'll see about that. Good lord, Joe. I know we've beaten this to death already, but seriously, why did you just insist on drowning this map in lava? Doesn't it raise the difficulty? I mean, yeah, but in the most basic of ways, you could have spiced up the challenge with different types of hazards. Death platforms, regular traps, pitfalls. I have to agree, the overuse of it lowers the overall quality of the map. Hmm, interesting point, I suppose. Hey, wait, no. Donald, are you serious? What? You couldn't make that jump? Oh, I could. I just wanted to make you mad. Did it work? Jesus, this guy, man. This is a weird fucking mansion. It's a mansion in a platforming map. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, you know something? Hmm? I bet that ender chest didn't work because there was a dirt block over it. Ah, I bet you're right. You guys are real caught up about that chest. It was the most interesting thing I've seen in a while. Goodness, you know what? For the love of God, Donald. Quit that shit and do the damn challenge. What fucking challenge? It was just a bunch of walking. No, you're just scared to embarrass yourself again. I don't give a fuck about that, Joe. So far, the first level has been the most challenging. What do you mean? This level's challenging, too. The last two levels were just a bunch of walking. And this is just a combination of even more walking with simple platforming. That's true, and come to think of it, we haven't seen any monsters. I didn't even fucking think about that. Joe, where are the fucking monsters? And don't tell me they're the damn generals. Relax, they're coming. When, Joe? Fucking when? Soon. Oh my god. Am I in another fucking maze? Looks like it. You couldn't go two levels without reusing this gimmick? No, see, this one's different because the general insults you when you take the wrong path. Barry, I'm gonna fucking explode. Relax, Donald. It's almost over. Is this it? Yes, go ahead and break through the doors. What are you... Hang on. Donald. Hmm? Are you a fucking five-year-old? Is this map for five-year-olds? I think so. That's just not appropriate. Neither was this second maze. We should probably take a break after this level. Why? For Donald's sanity. Now I'm on the fucking roof. Where do I go, Joe? Up the pillar. The next level looks interesting. Oh, I think you'll like it. Things are definitely about to go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy if this level keeps dragging on. 
You have now entered the Allies' bedroom. Be prepared, Donald. He is ready to take your life. I'm shaking in my iron boots, Joe. Where's he at? First, you gotta go down the hallway to retrieve the exit key. Hmm. The mansion monster. Okay. So is there anything else to this monster aside from being an ally? He's assisted the antagonist with assassinations and treasure hunts. Stuff like that. Oh, a blaze. These are actually pretty cool. Thank you, Donald. It would be nice to see more of them. They would have been a nice inclusion to the mansion. It was a part of the mansion. At the end of the damn level, Joe. He's basically saying that it would be nice if your game had some monsters to fight. How are you supposed to platform if you have blazes shooting at you? I don't know, Joe. That certainly seems like an interesting challenge, doesn't it? What are you getting at? Oh, my fucking... Take it easy, Donald. Just leave the room, please. Fine. Only for you, Barry. There. I need to go lay down for a minute. Jeez, what's his problem? Joe, I'm not gonna lie. I'm picking up on some problems with your map. The last three levels had a lot of walking and barely any platforming. You also need more monsters to spice it up. I get that, really. I promise there are more challenges ahead that will make up for everything. For your sake and Donald's sanity, I certainly hope so. Boy, this map is certainly doing a number on our boy Donald. What do you guys think? Is he gonna make it to the end without keeling over? I can't wait to find out. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good one.